Yeah, request uh, kind of as a continuation of Bartender's Blues video I did a while ago with some of the backup. Um, listen to this. There's nothing really signature um, about some of these backup licks, but I figured it just might be neat to kind of show you some different options you might have for some of these um, different things. Most of what they're doing is harmonized scales. Uh, I'll kind of play a little bit of the... Um, of the chorus here and then try to kind of give you some options as it goes through. Um, so let's go ahead and let's listen to kind of, the, I think this lead up is something that you really um, wanted, whoever had this, but if you don't know how to do these, um, you can listen in too for sure. Um, and this next lick is a recurring lick in the song right here. So what he's doing there is it's kind of a little harmonized scale climb. Um, it's kind of going up the scale five, six, um, seven, and then back to root. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, one real easy way, is, again, this is in B flat. Um, you can just hit a harmonized scale going, and I think this is what he does the first time, um, six and eight fret, because you're you're playing at you know an F, an F is the five chord, so. Um, six and eight, and then six and seven with the B pedal down, and then fifth and six, no pedals, and then you just kind of squeeze in. Right, I think that's kind of what he's doing there. Now there's some other ways you can do this, and later on he kind of does this one as well. He's doing kind of the same thing, so we're at a B flat, but he's going to the five, the pedal's down, um, five position, here at the eight, um, so he's hitting an F, and uh, he, you can do it either with your fifth and sixth um, strings, B, B and A pedal down, then to the eleventh fret, no pedals, then to the thirteenth fret, no pedals, and then B and squeeze the A pedal in. You can also do it on the fifth and uh, third and fifth strings. It's the same. Those are the same notes, right? So it's the same intervals. If you hear it here at third and fifth, so you get two very different, um, two very different kind of sounding. Another thing, another option you can do is. Um, down here at the um, at the sixth fret, um, fifth and eighth strings with your E's lowered, right? And then fifth and eighth string, then uh, take your E off, and then uh, A pedal down, and then you've got your um, A pedal down, fifth and eighth again, and then you come back here and you can go to um, fourth and sixth. Right, those are all harmonized scales. Uh, here's another one that's kind of neat, uh, one using counterpoint. Uh, <clears throat> if you drop down here to the fourth fret, um, this is the second and uh, fifth string. Second string lower to whole tone, minus the right knee right. And then the um, fifth string A pedal down. They're actually kind of the same note. Um, and then you hit those two together. And then you let them both go at the same time. And then you bring it up to the uh, sixth fret. And again, no pedals, everything's off. And then fourth and sixth string. It's a little different, little different sound to that one because you've got one string coming up and one going down, right? So that's just some of the ways to kind of get into that chorus when he's singing. Um, so we've got... Um, or... There's a bunch of different ways to do this. These are just some some um, some that you know kind of are 
easy kind of around, just easy positions. Um, you know, you can, there's a bunch of different ways you can kind of do this, um, slicker ways, but it's a basic harmonized scale is mostly what he's using. Um, moving on, he kind of... Um, so kind of a one to seven um, move, so he gets that... Right? Um, if you're in this position, um, you can go right there. Um, that's kind of a um, pretty standard move. So you're in B flat, and then you're going to go up to the third fret, two frets up, no pedals down, fourth and fifth string, and then slide up to the fourth fret and engage your, your uh, A pedal. Because that kind of gives you a kind of gives you a you know a little bit of a a dominant seven sound. So and then you can go up there to that to that four chord or drop the knee, but I think it sounds better that way. Um, let's see, coming so that would be. Or you can do this type of thing. Um, now, if you want to, you can do that same thing up here. It's the same, um, but you know, if you want to go a little, do something a little different. Um, you know, you can go back down here to the to the open position. Um, you know, you can drop down two frets, take your um, A pedal off, um, have your B, this is four, five, and six, um, B pedal down, E's lower, and go in and out of that A pedal, right? Um, and then you're at your four chord. Um, same thing up here, if you do um, three, four, and five, Um, and then you're down into your four chord down here. Um, and it sounds like at one point it does go to the two minor. And uh, I did hear him do this. Um, it's kind of cool. He, um, he hits, uh, that sounds to me like he's hitting the fifth and eighth strings and pedaling in the A pedal because it's that two minor, and then he's coming up and hitting the second string, and letting them kind of ring together, except you got to pull off of that second string, and then fourth and sixth strings, and then goes up two frets to the five up here at the 13th fret, no pedal. So, um, um, and then, you know, from the five, uh, there's a bunch of different ways to get back as well. Um, you can, um, uh, let's see, you can, you know, you can drop down, use that uh, down in seventh position, A pedal in, fourth and fifth string, and then lower your E's. Um, you know, you can kind of do this type of thing if you'd like. Um, uh, um, that's kind of a slick little move. Um, you know, you can do uh, six and eight string here at the eighth fret. Um, and then, uh, B pedal down, sorry, and then, and then drop down and hit the um, fret, hit the sixth string as you're going to. And then when you drop down to the to the sixth fret, engage your A pedal. So now you've got E's lowered and your A and B pedals down. And then you let them off and you get back to your one chord. Almost sounds like the Jello song. 
Um, J E L L O. But the, um, you know, you can do that. Um, I'm just trying to think of a bunch of different stuff I can give you here, maybe that you can work on. Um, here's one that's kind of weird. Um, right, that's um, it's kind of a neat, it's kind of dissonant. Kind of a standard thing, but fifth and sixth strings, um, A and B pedal down the eighth fret. Um, drop it down one fret. Then second string, first string, and drop them down. And then come down on it. That's kind of a dissonant one. Um, again, kind of, kind of some ideas, but. Um, I hope that's some ideas to kind of maybe help you out with the backup on this thing. Like I said, there's really not a lot of signature stuff I'm hearing um, to kind of really make that really kind of make this pop. Um, but hopefully those are just some ideas. A couple of those things I heard him do in there, so maybe you pick them up. I don't know. But um, anyways, I hope that helped. And even if it's not something you you know you can use on this song, there's some pretty pretty standard licks in there uh, that might help you with some other stuff. So good luck.